Marking the queen is an optional process done for certain reasons. First reason is efficiency. It allows beekeepers to quickly locate the queen during hive inspections, which saves time and reduces stress on the colony, allowing for more effective hive management and maintenance. Secondly, genetics. When breeding queens, beekeepers select for certain desirable traits. A marked queen being present in the hive indicates that the queen has not been replaced with unknown, possibly undesirable genetics. And this is especially important in areas that have Africanized bees. Third is age tracking. The color code used for marking the queen corresponds to specific years, helping beekeepers easily determine the queen's age. Years ending with a one or a six are painted white. Years ending with a two or a seven are yellow. Years ending with a three or eight are red. Years ending with a four or nine are green. Years ending with five or zero are painted blue. Now that you understand the importance of marking a queen bee, let's show you how to mark one. We apply smoke to calm the hive. We locate the queen bee in the brood nest. There she is. We very gently pick her up by the thorax and mark it using non-toxic, fast-drying paint. After marking the queen, we place her in a protective cage to keep her safe. A candy tube serves as both the plug and a food source. Now that you know how to mark a queen, watch along as we do more. We hope that this video helps to answer any queen bee related questions. Thank you for watching.